Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the A-Side. It's me, sad, lonely, virgin bitch boy, also known as your local Weezer fan, and Blink-182, about, I don't know, 20 minutes to an hour ago, put out a brand new song, and I am so excited to talk about it because I've been really enjoying making content lately. It's been like, the only thing I want to do, and this new Blink-182 song is a rager. It's so good, and I'm so excited to talk about it with you, because Blink-182 is one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, the Blink-182 self-titled album, along with albums like The Black Parade and uh, A Few of You Can't Sweat Out, helped solidify my music taste to be what it is today, and it still is one of my favorite albums of all time, and Blank just has so many amazing albums in their back catalog, like Enema of the State, like Neighborhoods, like Nine, um, even like Cheshire Cat and Dude Ranch are really fun, too. And this new song is no exception. It is a blast to listen to. And Blank 182, quite frankly, is the band we need in this time. The song is called Quarantine, and it's obviously about quarantine and the coronavirus, which sucks. It's no fun. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to have to quarantine. Nobody's like, woohoo, a virus! But Blink-182 are here to talk about it, and they kind of lift the spirits in the way they do by being sarcastic, and maybe a little edgy, and maybe a little immature, sure, but I think that's what we need at this time. And a lot of music are going to hate this, because they just automatically hate anything that's not so highbrow. Oh, you listen to Blink-182? They just make fart jokes. Yeah, but they're funny fart jokes, okay? I like this band. It's okay to have fun once in a while. And lyrically, it, 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 is, it is stupid, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be satirical. And it does a really good job at it. Um, the lyrics are great. I love the reference to, um, to Star Tours in the in the first chorus, I'd rather be on Star Tours or stuck at the DMV. Star Tours is a ride at Disney World, which is based off of Star Wars. Um, and of course, I'm a huge Star Wars fanboy, if you can't tell by the giant Darth Vader uh, in the side of my room, so I got a good chuckle out of it. Um, we don't need social distance, we don't need old people. It's pretty hilarious, that made me laugh out loud. Um, because, like, you know... Some people refuse to social distance and refuse to follow the rules, and of course it's going to kill off the old people, and, and, and Mark is just blunt enough to come out and say it, but it's rather funny. It did make me laugh. That's my kind of sense of dark, twisted humor. Um, my beautiful dark, twisted humor, if you will. Um, and the hook is really catchy, too, uh, with Mark, of course, singing in the most pop, infectious way possible. Quarantine, fuck this disease. I'm never shaking hands again and don't kiss me on the cheek. Fuck quarantine. And that will be stuck in your head forever. Like, I've listened to this song so many times in the last couple of minutes because it like, just dropped and I wanted to make this review. And this, this, this hook is stuck in my head and it's going to be. They call it a hook for a reason. It's so extremely infectious. Um, it's really great. Um, Going back to lyrics verse 2, some people hit the bottle, some people hit the books, some people storm the capital, some second guess parenthood. Like, that's funny stuff. This band has been pretty serious recently, okay? I was really wondering what direction this song would go in after 9, because 9 took a very interesting direction. While the sound may be a little poppier um, and more produced and more mainstream, uh, the lyrics themselves were a lot darker things with Drabber, songs like Heaven, and songs like Black Rain, or I Really Wish I Hated You, or No Heart to Speak Of, were darker and, and more on the sad and depressing sides, almost a little emo at some points. And, you know, that's not something Blink has done that before on albums like The Self-Titled and Neighborhoods. It's not really what they're known for. And, and that paired with a more popular direction and sound was very interesting. Uh, so I didn't know where the song was going to go, lyrically or musically. They could have made a really, you know, dark, mature take on it, like something like off of Self-Titled or Nine. But I'm really glad they didn't, because this is something we need right now. It's just a fun, silly song to kind of lift us up and make us feel better at ourselves, even though it's on a serious topic. But a lot of the time, satire in the most serious topics is the funniest satire out there. Um, and this song is no exception. Musically, it is great. This is one of the heaviest songs this band has ever put out. And of course, Blink 
isn't necessarily a heavy band at all. I mean, sure, they have guitars, but they're pop punk. No one, no metalhead is going to listen to Enema of the State and be like, oh, this is metal as fuck. No, it's fun pop rock music. And this song is a fun pop rock song, but it is rather heavy for Blink-182. And you know what? I'm into it. I like it. And the drums. Travis motherfucking Barker is an amazing drummer, and he always has been... He always will be. Two blood clots in his arms can't keep him down. A plane crash can't keep him down. No, this man is a legend, and his drumming on this song is so good. This song is so much fun to listen to. It's so infectious. It's heavy for Blink-182, but it's, it's just so good. It's so funny, and I really like the song Quarantine by Blink-182. Now, my only complaint is the absence of Matt Skiba, because I really like Matt Skiba. Um... I think that some of his parts on Nine were the highlights. For example, No Heart to Speak Of, the song where he kind of takes the lead, um, is an amazing song. He kills it on No Heart to Speak Of. It's one of my favorite Blink-182 songs at this point, and definitely the highlight of that album for me. And he's nowhere to be seen on this song. Um, which is sad, because I do really like Matt Skiba. I think what he was doing on Nine and on the deluxe version of California... Uh, really brought this band in an interesting direction, maybe a little darker and more mature, and I was here for it, and I'm sad to see him not on here. I mean, because he can do silly. I mean, he was on songs like Built This Pool, so he can do silly, he can do fun, but he's also really good at bringing serious and darkness. Um, and I know that's not what this song is about, but I still would have liked to see him on maybe some wah ohs or like on a bridge or something, or even sing background vocals, but no, Matt Skiba is nowhere to be found. Overall, though, I really like the song. It's a lot of fun. I don't think we're going to get an album connect to it because we just got Nine last year. And the turnaround between Nine and uh, California was three years. And the turnaround between California and Neighborhoods was even longer. I do want to talk about Blink more eventually. But overall, Quarantine gets a big thumbs up. This song is so funny and so much fun. You should really go and listen to it. It's only like three minutes. And, and it's very accessible, fun, pop punk. Um, which is what I live for. I'm a massive Blink fan. I own two copies of Enema of the State on vinyl, the, the anniversary edition. I own all their albums on CD, including the deluxe edition of California, and I don't think they've ever made a bad album. They don't have many bad songs, and Quarantine is not an exception. So yes, very good. Check it out. Um, expect to hear more from me in the next couple of days, because... What do I have to do with my life besides sit here and talk about music with all you lovely people? And I'm going to continue to do that for quite a while. And I, I really like these track reviews, actually, because they're short. I can get thoughts out, and, and they don't get necessarily muddled all the time because I'm only talking about one track instead of an entire body of work trying to organize my thoughts. And this song isn't necessarily complicated with, with a line like, fuck quarantine, or I'd rather be on Star Tours or waiting at the DMV. It's not a complicated song, but it's just a lot of fun. And I love making content for you guys. Even if none of you care, I'm having fun. And that's all that matters. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Riley. This has been the A-Side. I don't know if this is going to go up tonight. It's 12.30, hence why I'm wearing the, the clicky hoodie, because I'm in my pajamas. Um, so maybe it'll go up tonight. Maybe it'll go up tomorrow. I did put out the Remo Drive video today, so if you're seeing this tomorrow, thanks for watching. Good morning, lovely people. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> See you all next time.